Hi guys! So it is March. It's time for the March vlog and have I got a story for you. I'll get to all the garden and the art stuff later but I just have to share this crazy story with you. So if you are on Instagram right now you're gonna have to pop over to uh, YouTube to get the whole story. We'll wait for you. All right guys so are you ready for this story? So at New Mexico Drive and I, we went to White Sands Monument, which was so thrilling. It was beautiful. It was amazing. And I don't know why I've never been there before. <laughs> I, 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 I apologize. It's not being New Mexican. I failed. Sorry. But okay, so with the whole COVID thing, we have been really careful about how we travel. We knew that this was going to be too long of a one day tr uh, trip. So we decided to do this thing that I used to do as a kid all the time. We just slept in our car and now it's like car camping or overlanding. And uh, I love the new names for it. <laughs> but when I was a kid, we just, you know, wherever we went, we just slept in the car and then we, um, you know, that's just how it went. So, um, but I tried to do this like really organized and I was really proud of how organized I was. I, I got the proper mattress for the Jeep. It blows up by itself. Um, <clears throat> put in a shelf in the back of the Jeep to put our stuff up on top of the shelf so the mattress can go under it and we can sleep under it. I made insulated window coverings for everything in the Jeep. Got all the blankets and, and uh, sleeping bags and also, I was super organized because I knew it was less than a 24-hour trip. So I wore my soft leggings and my soft t-shirt with a little skirt over it and a sweater. And then bought, brought with me a, a different skirt and a different sweater so that I could sleep in the soft leggings. So I wouldn't have to spend much time outside of the Jeep and being socially distanced as much as possible. In fact, almost 100%. Um, well, actually, yes, socially distanced was 100%, but I did have to go into a restroom uh, once on this trip. <clears throat> Everything else, we didn't go into anything. So, um, but hubby has a pretty long work schedule. So we got there really late Saturday night. It set up perfectly. It went really well and fabulous since it was so dark too because it was so late. Everything went really well. We got in. We were comfortable. Hubby was a little uh, confined, so it took him a little while to find his spot, but we were doing really good. It was super cold. It was like 36 degrees out, so it was getting a little bit cold in the, in the Jeep. About 4.30 in the morning, our little old Snickers dog started crying to get out. And we had learned earlier that uh, if you open the back door without unlocking the car with the key fob, the alarm goes off. So immediately, that's what we started trying to find was the keys. And in that process, <laughs> Hubby got completely entangled in all the blankets <laughs> and trapped, which pushed me into, <laughs> I, was, I was jammed in between the mattress and the wall <laughs> of the Jeep and I couldn't even get to my hand to the door to open it, <laughs> to fall out. So <laughs> I was trapped <laughs> and Hubby was flailing around. <laughs> He finally found the keys, but he's still stuck. And this goes on for so long that poor little Snickers couldn't hold it. <laughs> he starts peeing all over the bed. So we have the car unlocked. I managed to open my door. He's managed to open his door and we bail. <laughs> Only no shoes. It's super cold out. So we're hopping around without shoes. And Hubby grabs the dog and holds him up. And he gets one boot on. And I'm throwing all the blankets out of the Jeep, trying to rescue them from getting wet. 
<laughs> so then I pull, I get the sheet is soaked. So I pull the sheet off and <laughs> when I pull the sheet off, it switches the switch on the hair mattress, lets all the air out. And I hear hubby say, Snickers is running away. <laughs> he has one boot on. <laughs> He's chasing the dog all over the campground. <laughs> and, and, and I'm hopping around barefoot, trying to get the air mattress back up, the, the sheet out, extra blankets back in the bed. Hubby catches the dog. <laughs> We, by the time we climb back in the Jeep, we are beyond freezing. <laughs> so we start the Jeep up and try to warm up. Hubby just stays in the front seat. <laughs> and I bury myself in the sleeping bags. I'm refusing to participate now. <clears throat> Please remember. <laughs> so, so old Snickers dog, he's 17 years old, which makes him... 119 years old in human years so it's understandable that he, he couldn't hang on while we were flailing around i told this story to my mom and she said it's like an i love lucy episode <laughs> so so about, about 5 30 i get up to go into the restroom and i've got my mask and everything and and I walk in and, and I was surprised because there's somebody there and she looks at me and she got scared. And I was like, okay, I don't know. I've got my mask on and I'm just darting in and darting out <laughs> in the restroom. And I, then I go to wash my hands and I look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I look like I've been riding the, the trains for like 15 years. And also I smell like dog pee. <laughs> And, of course, I can't change clothes because I didn't bring extra clothes. <laughs> so I get back in the Jeep and Hubby asked me, do you want to go to a Walmart, get some extra uh, clothes? <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> i got to turn that off. I forgot to turn this off. I'm making no noise there. <laughs> get some extra clothes. And I was like, no, you know what? It's not going to kill me. We're headed home today. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> and he says, no, but I can see it from here. <laughs> anyway, then we got to go to White Sands. We were there right after sunrise. And it was incredibly gorgeous. And um, as you know, I've been sharing all sorts of stuff for you to see in the pictures and everything. And Snickers Dog, who is 119 years old, he loves these trips. And I'm just so happy that we can give him an enjoyable old age you know we don't know how long we'll have him with this so you know those <laughs> these are minor inconveniences he's given us a really good long life and he loves us so he's a good dog <clears throat> and he loves hiking he loves riding in the jeep molly girl she hates she hates it with all of her heart and so she doesn't come with us so anyway, here we are in March. What are we going to do? I've got some art that I finished last month, and I'm sure you've seen the pictures. That one is available. This one is not available, but it's finished. March is project month. I'm very excited. I'm going to be sharing with you stuff that's going on in the back gardens. We're going to be working on the flooring, the decking. I'm going to be working on fencing. I'm going to be hauling in dirt. What are you guys going to be doing? And I'll be at my new artist desk. Do you see this? I am so excited. This has been my dream my whole life to have an artist desk. And it is fabulous. I love it. All right, guys. Be gentle with yourself. There's only one you. Bye.